What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. So today we're going to be taking a look at 2020 Topps Heritage and this is a mega box from Walmart. They offer these every year um, and they, they're pretty good guys. I want to say uh, last year I did fairly well out of these mega boxes. Now I looked over the, the odds from this and the if you look over the odds from this and the blaster boxes they almost essentially identical and the selling ticket here is if you look here you're getting 15 packs and then you're getting one pack with three chrome cards and that's the same chrome cards that you can get in the hobby boxes and i seen Great Lakes Breaks man he pulled his out of his box he pulled a white bordered chrome and that's numbered to 50 and I'm here to tell you, you pull that card right there, number to 50, and the right number, uh, the right person, you got some good value on your hands. So if you was to get two blaster boxes, it would it would come out to 16 packs. So you're getting one less pack, but you are getting that exclusive, three exclusive chrome, chrome cards. So I think the value's there. It's pretty much the same price as two blaster boxes, and there's a look at the three chrome cards, and we'll open up them last. And let's get started. We got 15 packs. You buy three of them, you know, you pretty much, or buy two of these boxes, you pretty much got more packs than a hobby box can offer you. So let's check it out and see what the value is all about, guys. Start it off. Got something backwards right here. First pack, Kyle Lewis autograph. Look, this is what I'm telling y'all, guys. I cannot believe this. And, you know, that's not one of the biggest names, but anytime you can pull a real one autograph, guys, out of Heritage, it is it's super, super tough to pull them cards, man. <coughs> Excuse me. God, I just got excited. I couldn't believe, I mean... That is unbelievable. Kyle Lewis, real one. Not the special edition, but man, that is awesome. First pack. That is, that's what I'm telling y'all, man. Don't be afraid one bit to go out and buy these mega boxes. $42 plus tax. You know, you walk out the door, 45 bucks. Listen, it's, it, I'm not sitting there saying it. I mean, you're not guaranteed an autograph. So that is one, you know, one downside to it. You're not guaranteed a hit. But looking at the odds, you're getting about five short prints per box. So that's right there in itself. You're almost getting, I think it what it was, six or eight you got in a whole hobby box. Here's our first scratch all. We got a Cattell Marte. And I've been seeing you getting two of these pulled per box. And there's our first short print, Charlie Morton short print. That's the Dio. So I'm here to tell you, I think the value is definitely there. Especially if the price of hobby don't go down. Hobby boxes are still 95 I mean, I've even seen them at $100. That's, that's crazy talk to me. Aaron Judge. Go out and buy retail, man. I know I'm not afraid of it. And like I said on my last video, you buy a 12-box case, if you get three autographs out of that 12-box case, you've done good. Apollo Grounds, 1954, there's a Willie Mays insert. Mondesi. ERA leaders. You know, I don't know about y'all, but that's just t that's tough odds. You know, out of twelve cases, out of twelve boxes, three autographs. That's just not that good at all. There's a nice Dylan Cease for the Chicago White Sox. Chris Paddock, not a whole short print. We got a flashbacks insert. Trying to complete these sets, but it's it's very tough to complete sets in uh, Heritage. A lot of cards in a set. Especially trying to complete these subsets. I've yet to pull the Mike Trout short print. And there's quite a few I haven't pulled. But David 
That's not a short print. There's a nice insert then and now with Strasburg. Seth Lugo. So, you know, so if you, I guess, let's see here. Real one autograph singles is one in 240 packs. So it's still pretty long odds. It's not the hardest in the world though. You'd still have to buy quite a few of these boxes to get some. There's a Freddie Freeman, not a high number. Mustakas. But considering the amount of short prints you get, inserts, because I'm all about trying to complete my sets, guys. I like to, I'm not in it. I, so I say this a lot. I'm not just in it for the money. I love to build these sets. Kenta Maeda. Thought we got about five short prints in here, but I hadn't seen. We only got one so far. Chris Bryant and Pitching Leaders. Should get a few more short prints. And we still got that Chrome pack to open. I mean, man, we could still hit a monster out of that. Anthony Rizzo. Braun. Well, you say Kikuchi. There it is. That's a short print. 408. I've probably done missed over a couple of them, but I'll go back at the end. I know I mess it up every time. Jack Flatterty. Did I say it right that time? Flatterty? Flatterty? Lewis Arias. Lucas Giolito, that's a short print. 4 416. Garrett Cole. I'm I'm under the I think that they print certain short prints more than others, because I don't think there's been a whole ton of them Mike Trout's pulled. And I haven't seen many, even on video. Mike Ford. Scherzer. All right, three more packs to go. I really did enjoy this break. See, we got another scratch off coming up. And them things, you get you a good lot of them, build a set. They carry some good value, guys. Here we go, Christian Yelich. I'll definitely take him. We got a new age performer, Jose Berrios. Bent Corner, Nolan Arenado. They killing me with this coronavirus and delaying all these games. It's almost like I'm going insane over here. I mean, there is nothing sports wise on TV at all. I know I hadn't pulled this one. There's another one of them Willow Willie Mays inserts. You only get one or two of them in a complete hobby box when you open it. I'm gonna say it again. AJ Puck, Lazardo, that's a good car. Say it again. Don't don't be afraid at all to go buy these boxes, guys. I really enjoy opening these mega boxes, especially when you got a good rookie class like we do. Now we didn't hit many rookies at all, any of the big names, but that's part of it. Caesar Hernandez. I thought that was no. Will Smith, Gary Sanchez. Well, let's check out these Chrome cards and see what we gonna get, guys. Never know. So we started right off the bat with a refractor, Clayton Kershaw. I think we got a white border coming up too, guys. Hunter Dozier and no more Mars, a white border. I didn't do any research, guys, but I looked at some of the chromes from my hobby box and it's it's the same stuff so I, i'm not sure i mean you can see right there this is numbered out of 71 the refractor out of 571 but it looks identical to the chromes you get from the hobby boxes guys now if somebody knows more about it than me let me know but man i mean you know how rare that card right there that white bordered chrome is to pull so i don't know maybe they did another subset and I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I'm going to do more research on it. But anyway, 
man, this was a successful break. Kyle Lewis, awesome to get that autograph. It's a little off center, but hey, really, really nice, man. I cannot complain with that at all. Well, I'm going to get on out of here, guys. If y'all don't mind, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.